What's up, Internet? Corey Zayman here, back with a weekend adventure in video game hunting. What a great Christmas. Uh, at the beginning of this video, I just want to show you guys real quick a few of the things I got for Christmas. I'm going to stick to video game related items just because I can show you that I got a pumice stone, I guess. But no one other than me and my feet really care about that. Uh, <laughs> I did pick up, well, I did receive my first amiibo as a gift and after I shoot this video I'm actually going to pop this open and put it up on my shelf up here because uh, I think I will collect amiibos but not for really playing Smash Brothers with I don't I don't really see the point in leveling up an amiibo let me know in the comments below if you've been doing that and if it's fun I don't know if I'd get much enjoyment out of it I asked for Pikachu because I don't know, he's like the most iconic Pokemon and Pokemon's my favorite series, so I like having Pikachu stuff around my room as decoration. Uh, there are a few other Amiibos I'm looking to get. Mario. Like, I'm actually not really looking for any of the rarer ones. Like, if I found the Wii Fit Trainer, I probably wouldn't keep it, just because I don't really give a shit about it. Uh, Marth. He's okay, but I'm not that into Fire Emblem. I thought I would be after playing Awakening, but now I'm going on a tangent. So, I'm going to be on the lookout for more Amiibos, especially with some of my Christmas money. Also, from Alicia, I got Tearaway for the PlayStation Vita, which is a game I've been looking for. And I actually forgot that this was made by the creators of Little Big Planet, which is pretty cool because that's one of her favorite video game series, so she's probably going to want to give this a try also. Ah, uh, she got me a little Leonardo beanie baby plush type thing here which we thought was interesting in that like sure it's cute but why are his swords upside down is he trying to cut his hand open if he tries to reach for a katana that shit's dangerous leonardo i guess oh got this i already put one of the figures up i got the ice luigi uh one of the nintendo collectibles i believe uh, the packaging was a little bit destroyed, so I took them out of the packaging already before I even shot this video, and now he's already up on my shelf in the spot where Pikachu probably will be soon. And let me show you this shelf really quick, because I'm going to have a video game uh, room tour coming up sometime in January, but just let me show you the state of the shelf right now. Um, this is where I've put my Rob collection, the... Optimal Optimus, and I just have an assortment of figures here. I want to get this to basically being a little bit more dedicated to just Nintendo. Like, I've got some Transformers figures, some random Loot Crate pins, a Creeper, uh, a Macross figure, <laughs> Japanese Rob, some Jawas, a uh, Loot Crate Mega Man figure thing, uh, Loot Crate Mal from Firefly, Pac-Man, and Random Mass Transformers playing cards. So, I would like to get that to just be Nintendo figures, and I think Amiibos will be great for decorating that area. Uh, the other two games I got, I got two games from my mother. Grand Theft Auto V on the PlayStation 4, and Smash Brothers Wii U, which I can't wait to have a chance to play. I actually wouldn't mind if it rained this weekend just to get a little bit more time with them, but especially since I've been like borderline addicted to the 3DS version lately, which is weird because I wasn't earlier in the year when it first came out, but for some reason lately I've just been, at every free chance I get, like when I'm uploading a video and I have nothing else to do, I'll pull out my 3DS and start playing, so hopefully I can get addicted to the Wii U version. I really don't know what kind of player I want to be, if I want to be more competitive, if I want to just play with my friends, I don't know. Let's continue with the video, I guess. I'm fucking five minutes in, and we ain't hunted for shit, so let's get to this flea market. be 
looking for some amiibos this morning. It's Friday morning. Uh, not looking for finding like the super rare ones. Uh, I got Pikachu for Christmas, which you saw earlier. Looking for the characters that I like. Like I want to get Donkey Kong. I want to get Diddy Kong. I'll get Mario eventually. Like the, the more common ones, I'll just wait uh, because might as well wait to get them on sale. I don't think Mario is going to be sold out anytime soon. It doesn't look like Donkey Kong is going to be sold out anytime soon. Kirby, certainly not. There's a lot of Kirbys out there. I do like Kirby quite a bit, but I will wait. Or maybe I'll use my... I, have a, I got a $30 GameStop gift card, which I might use. And just, like, pay for the majority of it with that. If I can find them all at a GameStop. <sighs> going to be hitting some Walmarts and Targets this morning. I actually just left one. I didn't film anything because they had... Nothing but Mario. Didn't feel like showing you guys a shelf with just Mario. Um, there are some fringe ones that I'm kind of interested in. Like, I don't really care for Punch-Out that much. But if I find a little Mac, I might hold on to it just because it's kind of uncommon. Uh, I did see Diddy Kong a few weeks ago, or maybe a week ago now. Uh, and I'm wishing I had picked it up because apparently he's kind of harder to find. But I didn't know I was going to be getting any of them, to be sure, so... Let's go. All right, just picked up three amiibos. Which is a weird thing to say, I realize now. Uh, some lady looking at me weird as she backs out next to me. So, uh, can I hit this Walmart? Hopefully, find some more. I'll show you what I got at the end of the video, obviously. Been showing you guys a lot of stuff at the beginning, been rambling a lot too. Notice my videos have been getting shorter just because there's not decent weather in Connecticut. I feel kind of bad for that. Let me know what you think about the video length. Hmm. Seeing a lot of the same ones. But it's the first time I've come across Fox. And also the first time I've come across uh, Samus. Like I said, I'm not looking to get the more or the most common amiibos just yet, um, which I'm noticing to be Peach, Mario. I haven't actually come across Luigi today, so I might pick him up if I see him. Uh, I just picked up two more, bringing my total after getting Pikachu for Christmas to six amiibos out of nowhere. So I obviously wouldn't be spending this kind of money if I didn't get money for Christmas. But let's go. So, I would have thought that Goodwill would be a little bit more calm on the day after Christmas. 
which is why I'm recording this. It is not. As you saw, I just had some old, smelly, crusty guy push me basically all the way out of the DVD section just by his proximity. Like, you never made contact, but Jesus Christ, dude, just smelly ass away from me. So who's this guy? Just Are you really filming me? <laughs> What's going on, man? Much. You finding anything? Hell no. Did you just walk in? Yeah. Because I already did. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. That's not bad. I don't know what it's going for now. A copy of Fable? Four bucks? No. I'm looking for Amiibos. Unfortunately. We'll find them in here. I don't know. I'm stopping by here just in case. That's been here for a while, I think. Oh, or at least I've seen it a lot of different places. I'm waiting for food. So we snuck up on Carl there from the Grid Games uh, on the wild. He picked up Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, which I definitely would have snagged had it been there. Not too butthurt about it. I already have two copies right now, so I'm going to head to the Savers, which he says he never hits, and then Target and Walmart. Over here in Manchester, trying to scoop up some more amiibos, see if they have anything I don't have that I'm interested in. Let's go. Now we're heading to the target that I've had the most luck at of all time. Uh, back in the day I got my Pikachu 3DS XL here. I actually got two of them back when they were on sale for 150 each. Um, hoping to find Diddy Kong is probably the one that I'm realistically looking for. Uh, Little Mac seems to be a little bit more rare. I've never actually seen him in person. Um, after that, we're hitting a GameStop and then I gotta go to work, but then it's the flea market tomorrow. Very least, that's the first Luigi I've seen today. Hmm. What here? Heading into the Toys R Us. Let's hope we have some better luck here. Never been in here before. Holy crap. It's a teenage mutant ninja turtle mother load. Look at all these old figures. They are throwback figures to the comic books. That's pretty much all I have. Flea market time. Got my new tech gloves on. Let's see how this goes.
ain't shit to find today. Was nothing in that Goodwill. The dollar store is fifty percent off. The dollar store. All right. Genesis games are going to rot in this case forever. <laughs> We've been here for months. Two more amiibos. Got a double of Diddy Kong, but they're buy one get one forty percent off, and a lot of people are saying that it's kind of uncommon. So I'll use them for a trade, I guess. What you get? So Alicia ran off ahead of me, found um, lime green Game Boy Color, uh, white Game Boy Advance, but it's a protective case of some sort, an Atari Flashback, uh, broken PlayStation. Uh, I'm going to be picking up one of these though. Alright guys, I have picked up quite a few Amiibos. Picked up two of the Diddy Kongs because I needed to get one more for the buy one get one 40% off sale that they had at Toys R Us. Unfortunately, I didn't get all of these there. I had stopped by Target, Walmart, as you saw earlier, and I didn't even know the sale was going on. So I needed to get the last figure that I wanted, um, besides from like the rare ones. Mario, so I got Mario and Diddy Kong because I hear some people are having trouble finding him, so I'll have one for trade. Uh, but I think these are all the ones that are out right now, including the Pikachu I showed earlier that I actually want. I don't really give a shit about Wii Fit Trainer, I don't give 
a shit about Little Mac that much. If I found them, great, but I'm not going to stress out about it. I actually just ordered Captain Falcon off GameStop.com, so by the time you're seeing this, it'll probably be old news. Uh, time to crack into these, because I'm not going to actually keep them in the package. I bought them mainly for display purposes, so let's see what that's going to look like. Alright, here we go. All my Amiibos displayed in front of my box of NES games, and oddly enough, I don't really have that much more room. I could probably fit another one or two in there. Uh, Captain Falcon's gonna have to make room in there, and there's at least four other ones I know that have been announced that I want to get. Toon Link, Bowser, uh, I'm blanking on the other ones though. Definitely Bowser. So. We just picked up some games at Kmart, and here's some shit I wouldn't have expected. Sonic the Black Knight. That game came out how many years ago? Let's see how old these figures are. They even come out the come off the peg. Articulated figure from the hit game. Sounds like some bullshit. That game was garbage. So let's go over some pickups I got this weekend. As you saw, got a Game Boy Color. This is the Kiwi Color, or the Lime Green, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's the second time I have to do this, so I'm a little annoyed. Uh, a little wear and tear on the Start and Select buttons, but I'm not keeping this for myself. I already have all these colors. Um, I'm just missing the Pokemon versions of them. Uh, we also found at a game exchange a great deal on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Paid $15 for it. Cart is a little scuffed up. I cleaned it up a little bit. It's got a slight crack down here. I'm going to be getting rid of this just to get some money back, but at $15 I couldn't pass it up. I already have that game. Uh, that was all we found on Saturday. I did get a text from Sam who had just seen last week's video and wanted the SP that I had in there and he had the perfect trade for me because I have a box for this that's been sitting up on my shelf and now I'll finally have a complete in box DS Lite. This is the white version obviously and it's in pretty good shape. And to sweeten that deal a little bit he tossed in a game I'd been looking for that I knew he had Kung Fu for the NES. So we went on a wild goose chase at Target today. I saw on CheapAssGamer.com, which I will provide a link right here if you cannot read the words that are coming out of my mouth. Uh, they have some of their discontinued games on sale for 50% off. Unfortunately, like I said, it was a wild goose chase in that they marked up everything to MSRP, original MSRP and then took the 50% off. So certain games that I'd seen there for like $20 were now at, uh, I believe it was like $30. I didn't record anything in there, I probably should have, but it's hit or miss. Maybe the sale, you were able to get in something good on it, but the best I'd seen on CheapAssGamer.com was people finding stuff for like $10 that I probably wouldn't have spent that money on. Um, you know, we're sitting here just watching TV later, and I come across another deal on Cheap Ass Gamer uh, at Kmart, which we only have one Kmart left in the state that I know of, at least one that's relevant to us. So we decided to go buy there after dinner, and their sale is anything that is with their special sticker, I guess. I forgot what they call it. Uh, dump bin I think they call it online on the cheap ass gamer website all these games are ringing up $4.99 so we picked up five games we got Harvest Moon Sunshine Islands for the DS Rune Factory 3 a fantasy Harvest Moon Super Monkey Ball 3D Harvest Moon 3D, The Tale of Two Towns, and lastly, Harvest Moon Animal Parade, and 
all those games brand new go for pretty much at least twenty dollars still and i paid 27 and change after tax so that's not bad at all very happy with that deal like i said cheapassgamer.com i'll mention them again be sure to check them out uh keep active in those forums to find deals like this and sometimes you hit sometimes you miss as i saw today like comment subscribe have a happy new year and keep a real internet and fuck interruptions